Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Understanding women's adultery. And, you know, I know I said on this space, this is the select manosphere, but this plays a big part in why there is a select and non-select, you know, because a lot of men look at this thing from a surface perspective. They'll say, well, why is this woman with that guy, but not that guy who, you know, he's a law-abiding citizen and all of that. Even though I've said a thousand times, uh, the men who are really select are like, you know, professionals, and I said recently that they could be uh, masons and stuff, or you know, in some secret societies. But I'm gonna read a couple things from the adultery Reddit because uh, one of my researchers sent it to me, and I'm I'm just gonna read it to you. I'm gonna read it into the record. It's interesting, and you know, you gotta understand when you talk about certain things, you gotta get past the surface. You got to get past the surface and see what's really happening. You know, people want to compete, but, you know, are you the one they cheat with? But anyway, I'm going to read this. It says, a question for women. Why are so many of you married to men you're not sexually attracted to? And these are some of the answers. Like, there was an answer, and then some people responded to that person. They said, I've also found that the guys I was most sexually compatible with were not men I would want a long-term relationship marriage with. For me, the two have never aligned, and I don't think that's a coincidence. And then somebody replied, couldn't agree more. The men I, the men I was with who were amazing and exciting in bed were all in, unstable in their personal lives. The men who I would consider myself to be more compatible with on a long-term level were still okay in bed, but not as great as their unstable counterparts. And then another person said, the men that are good lovers were lousy people, and the men that were good people were lousy lovers. And then, um, let's see, this is another response, and I had a response to it, but this, uh, the reply was, this is, to- this is totally me too. This person puts multiple, multiple O's behind that too. Went out with asshole guy, sex was hot, wanted not an asshole guy low. Entered my husband, never really attracted to him sexually. That's a big thing. But he ticked almost every other box. And now here we are. (laughs) And then somebody uh, responded to that. That's the thing. When everything works except the sex, nothing works. Even if he ticks all the other boxes, if he doesn't tick the sex box, he end up getting cheated on or divorced. Pow, 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 pow. And shoot, that's shoot. Let me get this other one in here. Hold up. Let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. Let me bring this up. Okay. <laughs> and this is what a woman said. Now, oh yeah, don't get triggered. Y'all gotta look at this cold blooded. Okay. Y'all gotta be cold. Y'all gotta be dispassionate with it. All right. But anyway, this one uh, woman said, it's hard out here for a woman. They said, and they underlined several parts of this. They said, I'm not at all surprised that a woman would make up most of, most of this sub, despite being a minority on Reddit. Even less so that there are a lot having affairs because they aren't and often have never been truly attracted to their husband. Somebody underlined that part. We women usually have three options. Marry a man we aren't attracted to. Live in constant heartbreak about getting crumbs from the one we are or die alone. Damn. (laughs) There are exceptions, but this is usually the rule. Life ain't a fairy tale. Chances are you will not get to marry the guy who makes your heart flood and knees weak. Instead, have to settle for Mr. Seems to Love Me. This is what most women have to do. This is why most married women are, although they pretend to be, miserable. Now, no one wants to say this. It's an ugly truth. We all want to believe we can be truly attracted to how much someone seems to love us. We all like to believe that sexual attraction can be built and grown. That's what's good for us on paper. That what's good for us on paper is also good for our hearts. Sadly, not the case. Never have been, never will be as long as we're human. As I said, there are exceptions. But they're just that. We only have one life. Why the hell should we choose the, between those three miserable options? I'm not saying it's fair to have your cake and eat it, but as we know, neither is life. Adultery isn't something anyone wants to commit unless they derange. Sometimes it's just the only way to truly be happy. 
Don't we all deserve that? Boom. And just to be clear, yeah, you know, I'm going to plug my book, Nice Guys and Players. That's what it's all about. So many people caught up into the whole categories and everything. When if you really read Nice Guys and Players, I'm saying be the best of both. That's what it's all about. And this is to understand when you're not the best of both. Because when I talked about in my book, Nice Guys, I say, are you a nice guy who can't get the can't get any women? Non-select. Are you a player who can get every woman except the one you really want? Select. Because select guys, they, they don't get every single woman. That's some bullshit. I, that's something I've never said. I even said if they go in a room of 100 women, 70 of them might want them. That means 30 don't want him in particular. And just to be clear on that, because somebody came back to me and said, well, doesn't that mean a non-select man gets the other 30? No, they probably don't want him either. That just means those 30 women just focus on that one guy. Most going to want him, some ain't. That don't mean like the non-select guy comes in and automatically gets the, other, uh, the leftover women. It don't work like that in the real world. Some of those women, some of those women are just sit the fuck out. That's how it works. But this is something to think about. See, a lot of times, one of the things that inspired me to write Nice Guys and Players was seeing this dynamic up close and personal. You know, being considered the unstable one, (laughs) despite education and everything. You know, because I, you know, I ain't show my true self to anybody. And I was a little bit wilder back in the day. So, you know, it's, it's like... We got to understand now that now I know some people say these women are wrong and they doing evil. They don't appreciate a good guy. But too many, too many, too many men and women do too often in this culture, period. We don't want to discuss that sexual thing because that's what it come down to. And I've said that. Yeah, you can have all that stuff. You can think you got all this going on. But if that if that look, sex is a two way thing. You can think you have. But the women you. You could think you got the, got everything and think a woman should just want you on it, but uh, your vag- the vagina, the woman's vagina don't give a fuck. Just like, and it's the same way with men. Let's just be real with it. It's the same damn way with men. Y'all know there's some good women out there who don't get your dicks hard. And I ain't saying it's right on either part, but it is. I don't have time to deal with what should be. I don't live in a fairy tale. I ain't had that luxury growing up. I'm telling you what it is. And, you know, it's trying to have just understanding that this is what's happening out there. That's, you know, a lot of people talk. I talk about the sexual underworld. The main purpose of the sexual underworld is for women to cheat. That's the main purpose of it. It ain't ain't to do all this other stuff. Ain't to get into all this other stuff. It ain't just something that somebody say, oh, let me create the sexual underworld. No. And, you know, a lot of guys don't. They want to talk. Look, this is a criticism I have of many men. Many men particularly if they call themselves non-select, want to talk about everything but sex. I will try to say it ain't important and stuff, but it's going to affect It's going to affect you. If you got all that stuff, do you want to be that man? Look, I put it, break it down. Do you want to be that man who, you know, you're a good guy, probably make a good father? Hell, the kids, are, if, you know, the two two or three times you actually have sex with the woman a month, she, maybe you might get, her, get lucky and get her pregnant. Do you want to be that man who's working hard, doing all this shit and then come home and somebody in your bedroom and he got a bigger gun than you do and i mean a physical gun because uh you know they always talk about some man catching some woman you know the man coming in and catching some man with his woman and maybe beating him up or whatever but it can go the other way too or you want to be that man, you know, the woman just be like, you know what, this ain't working. All of a sudden you paying child support out the wazoo. Then all that work you've done, all that good work you've done is helping support a woman in her place, in, a, in another place. Why that other man's coming in there pounding the shit out of her. So, you know, this is something, I mean, we just got to get raw with it. You got to understand that. And, you know, what it's coming down to when you look at uh, sex. You know, it ain't like, oh, they just stupid or anything like that. No. <laughs> no, nah, that's that's simplistic. That is simplistic. Just to say, oh, they don't know. Well, you know, it ain't no supposes in this world. Nature ain't fair. Nature don't give a shit. Nature just is like, oh, <laughs> nature just gives you. It, it don't care about social systems, anything. So 
just understand it. And that's just some brief stuff. I could do probably a whole series on it. And look, just to be real, you get some guys going crazy, but, you know, like I said, nature, you know. I'm trying to tell you how to, like, take advantage of that nature or get that woman be. I'm trying to tell you how to be an exception. Just to be clear, I'm trying to tell you how to be an exception. So, anyway, that's all we got for now. I'll talk to you later. Peace.